Welcome, in front of me is a Realme 5 Pro and today I'll show you how to transfer files from the device to an SD card and vice versa. So to get started let's open up the file manager app, so it's right here this blue folder, tap on it and at the bottom you should see your two storages, so you have the phone and SD card. Now let's go to the phone storage and in here you can see a couple of the main folders that you can find your files in. DCIM usually has all your pictures and videos that you have captured with this device. Then music or movies and music have, well, the music and movies as long as you have placed them yourself. Uh, not really sure what what kind of program would place it in there themselves. Maybe uh, Google uh, Google Music when you download it to go offline it would place it, but I haven't tried it, so I'm not sure. Uh, then you have the pictures folder which normally contains a screenshot, uh, but I think on this device it, uh, the screenshots are also saved to the DCIM. Um, if you can't find your screenshots in the DCIM, you can find them in the pictures. Now if you go to all files, you will also see the downloads folder, which will contain any files that you have downloaded using this device. So that could be either from like your browser, emails, they will be located in the downloads folder right here. And uh, yeah. So let's go on to the DCIM because that's where I have prepared a couple photos that I will use as an example, as you can see right here. So number one, you want to select the files that you wish to move and you do that by simply holding the file till it gets checked like this and then you can simply tap on the add ones to add them on. Now you can also select all of them at the same time, as you can see if not all of them are selected or for instance one. I uh, have the select all button right here. You just tap on it and all of them get selected at once. So that is one way you could select the files that you wish to move. So you can basically pick ones or select all. Um, or you can also go back and as you can see, this is the camera folder where the three, where the three pictures are. And you can just also select the folder itself and move it along with all of its content. Whichever way you do it, it makes no difference, it's just more a matter of preference. So once you have selected the file that you, or well, whatever that is that you wish to move, uh, you'll have two options, it's either cut or copy. Now both of them do, do the job but do it a little bit differently, so copy will uh, basically create another set of the same files uh, in the location of your choice, while cut will completely remove them from where they are and move them to the new location of your choice. I'm gonna choose cut for this purpose and once you tap on cut you want to go back to where you wish to move them so mine are on the uh, phone storage so I'm gonna move them to the SD card and I could move them to also the DCIM folder to keep it organized uh, but as you can see there are already files in here so I'm gonna actually drop it right here so there is some difference so let's just paste it right here you have the button to paste tap on that and you're finished basically. As you can see now there is a camera folder with three uh, three photos in there. So those are the three photos and there's a DCIM folder with the four other photos that I had already on here and if we go back to the phone storage at DCIM you can see that there is nothing in here anymore. That's because I have chosen to cut it from here. So that is how you remove any kind of file. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.